Okay, so for the purpose of this video and certain explanations, I may be speaking some dialects, okay? Don't worry, you will understand. Check the subtitle, okay? So I just want to explain certain things, right? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In some arguments, maybe on YouTube or in certain occasions, you will hear a lot of people from Nigeria talking about the citizens of Ghana speaking more of their dialect, okay, like the Chi and the method of speaking English. And they will tell you that Nigerians speak more of English than local language, while Ghanaians speak more of their local language. And the question is, how true is that? It all depends on the context, okay? So when it comes to population, I'll start with Ghana, okay? Ghana's population is about 34.1 million plus citizens as at 2023. And again, you discover that in Accra, they have about 2.3 million inhabitants residing in Accra. Ghana speaks over 80 languages. In as much as their population is about 34 points million 34 plus million they speak over 80 languages of which there are major government sponsored languages okay, this includes the three languages from their country which involves the fancy aquapen Chui, and the ashante we have another language from the dawani ethnic group which involves the dagari and the dawanli then we have the Ewe, the Ga, the Nzema, Gunja. Now, Ghana has 16 regions, okay? And these 16 regions, they also have their capital. And Ghana has about 216 local districts from these 16 regions. Now, if you come to Ghana, you'll discover that, you know, they are majorly a particular group of people. So, their dialect will be spoken often than English. Not that they do not speak English, but in Ghana, the most common language that you will hear will be the Chi language because above 9 million Ghanaians speak Chi, while about 3 point million speak Ewe, then others speak Ga and the rest of them. So when you come to a particular area or a particular nation where the majority of the people understand certain language, or a particular language the tendency that they will be speaking their dialect will be high now let me come to nigeria nigeria we have regions we have the north we have the south then we have the south south southeast southwest region and also in the north we have the northeast the central and the rest of them what are the common languages being spoken by those regions now if you go to southeast Majorly, they speak the language Igbo. So when you go to Southeast, most of them speak Igbo. And they will speak Igbo to you. Irrespective of where you are coming from. Until you tell them otherwise. For instance, if you come to Yoruba land, like Kogun and other places, or Shon, and Lorela, Asquara, you will hear more of Yoruba. Owoda, Fumi Owo, Fumi Change. Driver, I like my ref, I don't see bus stop, oh wow. Kilo de ombole, oh, me a bon kotoso. Rora masoro, baba e karo. E kaboma, kende, baoni. Mua dada, ah, ah, ah. Taiwo, shua dada. Auto jometa, o daro, o dabo. E karo, kilo rukwe. It is only when you start speaking English to them that they will feel like, oh, maybe he or she do not understand. Even here in Lagos, there are places you will go to, you will just be hearing things like uh, Ekale or Ekaro, you go to Ugun State, they will speak Yoruba. They will freely speak Yoruba. 
You are the one that would tell them, oh, I don't understand. Or, by the time they speak Yoruba and you respond with English, twice they will decipher that you do not understand their dialect. Something by the time you go to Delta, maybe you went to Urubu, you will be hearing them speak uh, their language. Mavo Omagaye, Oshewiyo, Mavo Rogeri, Kiruo, Migwe, Wokebiru. You would cross Niger Bridge and you enter southeastern part of Nigeria. You will predominantly hear Igbo language. When you go to Onicha, you will hear Igbo language. Even along the road, Kedi Ki Choligo, Kehi Choligo, Ebe Ki Neje, Ego Neki Nelefa. You know, you go to Oweri, Olehi, Ego Neki Neriha, Abia, and the rest of them. You go to the north, you'll be hearing them speak Hausa language. Inakwana, Inagejia, Barka de Safia, Barka de San de Zua, Sai Anjima, Barka de Zua. Okay, when you go to places like the Akwai Bomb, where they speak more of Ifikani Bibio, you readily hear them speak Abare, Iriamfo, you know, Mesere, Meserende, you know, they will speak their dialect. When they speak, you are the one that will now say, oh, I don't understand Ibibio, I don't understand Ifik, and they will change to English. Now, let's go to Ghana. They have more than 80 languages that they do speak. And again, there are major languages of which many of them do understand. And this includes Chi. And that is why when you go to Ghana, you will often hear people speak Chi. Now you went to Ghana and maybe you held a ride or something like that. Or you stopped someone, anything. And the, maybe when you enter the ride, you just hear the person say, Ah, Akwaba. What hurt is saying? Or Akwaba, Manche. What hurt is saying? You're meant to respond mehoye or eye, but you did not. And the person now said, Wo techi, wo kachi, ani, wo kachi, you say, deyebi. Or you can say, mitichi, nanso menkachi. Because you understand, but you do not speak, and the person wants to freely speak chi to you, the person will not say, ah, wo frihe, within the say, or your free will say, just respond in English. Me pacheo. Me te me abuawo. You now describe where you're going to or what you want to do. And the person says, okay, yenko. Okay, so if you understand, it's okay. But if you don't understand from the beginning, when the person says, ah, akwaba, mache, your friend was saying, or mache, we heard you saying, you'll be like, pardon? And the person will readily change immediately. So what I'm saying is this. Let us not see it that Ghanaians speak more of Chi instead of English and fought them on that. No, they did nothing wrong. It's just because in Lagos we speak English. When you go to the East, when you go to major Yoruba states, they speak Yoruba freely. In the East, they speak Igbo freely. Starting from Anambra, Enugu, Imo, Abia, and Eboni, you will readily hear in Igbo language. You are not the one that will tell them, oh, I don't, I don't speak Igbo. What's the population of the entire Igbo nation? What is the population of the entire Yoruba nation? What's the population of the entire Hausa nation? Okay, so when you go to their regions, they will speak their language. That Lagos we speak English here does not mean that in other nations, they should just readily speak English. No. It is the language that is most spoken by everyone or well heard by almost everyone that will be spoken. So for me, I feel they are doing a very good thing, speaking their language. When you go back to your region, you speak your language freely. However, when you come to Lagos, because we have so many inhabitants in Lagos, we tend to speak either English Wafi, that is some broken English or some other things, but we do mix it. There is no how you as a Yoruba person, I can't see someone who is a Yoruba person who understands Yoruba and you expect me to speak English. If I see you and you speak, you are an Igbo person and I know you understand Igbo, I will speak Igbo to you. Same for houses. If I see you as someone from a Bibio, I will speak a Bibio. 
Same if I see a brother or a sister from Ghana who understands Chi, I will speak Chi. That is how it flows. So my dear people, it is very normal, it is absolutely okay for Ghanaians to speak Chi. Now concerning what some of my Nigerian brothers and sisters do talk about or some persons do talk about in terms of their YouTubers who tend to speak Chi, meanwhile they use English headlines. Yes, you know, not everyone who speak Chi do understand the write-up. Same as Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa or some languages in Nigeria. You can easily understand a particular language but when it is written, it may take you time to understand it. Hence, you may not want to click. So it is the same thing for them. So when you open a channel and you realize that they are speaking their dialect, maybe they do not want you to understand it. And if you go to the comment section, you will realize that many people are commenting. Those people commenting understand or understood the dialect. However, they typed in English because it is easier for them to type in English. However, they may prefer to speak or understand their dialect when it is being spoken. I think that is the case with Ghana. So my people, I do feel that it is absolutely okay for Ghanaians to speak their Chi or any other language or dialect in their land. Because we do the same in Nigeria. Just that majority of us are Lagosians. So in Lagos, because we feel we speak English or broken or pidgin English, we tend to see it that those in Ghana do speak more of Chi. However, if you go back to your regions, where much of a particular language is being spoken by a large group of persons, that language is what will be widely spoken or used in transaction over there. That's my own two cents to it. So, they are doing well. And most of us are also doing well. Thank you.